What's going on guys? Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. Today I am bringing you the most requested video that I've had since I started my channel like three and a half years ago. And it's not a hair video. In today's video I'm going to talk a little bit about my skin, like my skincare routine and my everyday super easy makeup routine. Yeah. Now before I rewind all the way back to first thing this morning when my hair was still wet and I didn't have a stitch of makeup on, um, I want to give this video a little bit of an intro. So this is what my makeup looks like on days that I actually wear makeup. And when I filmed this video, I made every effort to put my makeup on exactly the way I normally do that. And in order to do that, I couldn't do a whole lot of talking. So as I'm applying my makeup, I'm really not gonna say much, if anything at all, but it's super quick. Once my makeup is fully on before I dry my hair, I'm gonna go through each step and kind of explain which products I used and why I like those products so much. There's my everyday makeup routine. It takes under four minutes and it's definitely not a look where you get a whole lot of coverage, um, but I just feel like it's just enough makeup to make me feel a little bit more like brighter and more put together. And I always, always pencil my eyebrows in every day, whether I wear the rest of my makeup or not. Some of you know that I had my eyebrows microbladed um, almost three years ago now and I never went to get them touched up. So I still have uh, the outline of where the microblading strokes were and you could kind of see that when I got up close to the camera before I started with my eye pencil. Um, and a lot of you have asked me if I recommend microblading and what I don't recommend is going and getting them done and then never, ever, ever, ever going back and getting them touched up. I'm not really that great at applying makeup, but I like to use things that are easy to apply that you don't need a whole bunch of brushes that you can apply in your car on your way to work if you want to. Um, and I've been using this tinted moisturizer since I was like, I don't know, 17 or 18, and I love it. So this is by Marcel. This is the Sheer Tint Fluid Moisturizer. It's hypoallergenic and it's SPF 15. And actually the newer stuff is SPF 30. So I am going to link this in the description box below. These are roughly $17 and you can get them at the drugstore. This is a Canadian company. So if you're living in the States or somewhere else where you can't get this product, um, I just haven't tried many other brands. I'm sure there's another one. And if there's a sheer tinted moisturizer that you really love, um, and you're in a country other than Canada, please let me know in the comments section below so that some of the people watching can find something that they like as much as I like this. The next step in my makeup routine is you saw me kind of pencil in my eyebrows. And again, not a tutorial. I don't really know exactly what I'm doing and I follow the outline of my old microblading, which I do plan on getting redone. I just haven't had the time um, lately, but I will definitely get them done 
in 2021, hopefully. Um, but anyway, this is the pencil that I absolutely love. It's the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Definer Ultra Fine Tip Shaping Pencil. And the reason I like this is you don't have to sharpen it. It's nice and fine, so you can draw like individual strokes, like individual hairs, if you want. The other thing I like about this is that my eyebrow hair is like almost black, but not. So I have very, very, very dark brown eyebrows, and I have a really hard time matching the color. And this is the perfect exact color of my eyebrows. And this one is called Dark Brunette. This one is, I could find it online um, for anywhere between eight and $12. And uh, you can get it at Shoppers Drug Mart or other drug stores. I mean, it's L'Oreal. You can probably get it at Walmart. You can probably get it almost anywhere, but I will leave a link in the description box below. But anyway, I love this pencil. I also love this little brush because sometimes when I go to pencil my eyebrows in, it turns out a little bit dark, and I just kind of take the brush and do a few strokes through the makeup and brush into my eyebrow hair and it kind of blends it all in. Anyway, this is like a 10 out of 10 for me. If they ever discontinue this, I'm gonna be lost. One of the things that you guys ask me a lot under my hair videos is that you ask me what color and what type of lipstick I'm wearing and I always, always wear the same lipstick. These are from a company called Essence. You can get these at the drugstore or Walmart or probably Target or Ulta or whatever type of department store you have. I'm guessing you can order them online. They're only $3.99 and this is a semi-matte. So I love this lipstick for a couple of reasons. It has the colors that I like. I like like a pinky mauve color. I find it makes your teeth look whiter. Um, it's cheap, $3.99 a tube. And then the other thing that I like is it's very comfortable to wear. And what I mean by that is it doesn't dry out your lips. So it has a little tiny bit of a smoothness to it. Um, and it doesn't dry out your lips, but it's also not sticky at all, and it tends to stay on. So this is the lipstick that I love. And it's in number four. This is Nude. Here is the lip liner. It's the Essence Stay 8 Hours Waterproof Lip Liner. Like my eyebrow pencil, it has the retractable tip. And this goes on very smoothly, and it does last. I don't think it lasts for 8 hours, but it, it lasts a long time. Um, and I love this color. This one's called so default and these are about um, $3.99 as well. This is the thing that I'm the most excited about, um, my new mascara find and this solved all of my problems, all of my makeup problems I should say. So I love mascara and I really wanted to wear mascara but for the longest time my makeup routine was like the same as I just showed you but without the mascara. And the reason is because I kept trying all these different types and no matter what, whether they were waterproof or not, like midway through the day, I would have like dark circles under my eyes. Sometimes I would have black in the corner of my eyes and dark circles under my eyes. And even if I would use makeup remover to take the mascara off for a couple of days, I would find traces of mascara on my face or my eyes would look dark. And that drove me absolutely foolish. So one day I went into shoppers and I asked um, the lady that was working there if she could help me with some mascara and I said I want to spend a little bit more money um, I don't spend very much money on makeup But I really would like to wear mascara and I'm willing to spend a little bit more money My problem is it's always running on my face. What do you recommend? And she basically said that The cheaper mascara a lot of them run whether they're waterproof or not and that I'm better off buying a mascara That is a little tiny bit more expensive and I said which one do you recommend and like there's so many um, so she recommended this. This is like a gift set, or sorry, it's a sampler set. It's called the iStudio Sampler. This was $42, and it comes with all of the higher-end brands. Like, not super high-end brands, but like drugstore higher-end brands. So like Lancome, um, Benefit, Stila, or Stila, I don't even know how to pronounce that, NARS, and Clinique. It also comes with a gift certificate for a free full-size mascara, whichever one you like the best. So a full-size mascara of a lot of these mascaras is about 40 bucks. You're getting to try everything and um, get the mascara that you really want for $40. And I tried all of these. None of them ran. I really like them all. Just some of them are a little bit more dramatic and some of them are a little bit more subtle. I'm still not 100% sure which one I like the best. And when I find out, maybe I'll let you guys know on like Instagram or something. But 
I was really, really happy with this set, and now I know when I go and put the money out to buy the more expensive mascara, it's gonna be the one that I really like. I'm going to end this video, like, really soon, but a lot of you have been asking me about skincare, and it has been three and a half years since you guys have been asking me to show you my skincare routine, and the reason I haven't is because I don't really feel like I have anything worthy of sharing, but since you ask, I am going to show you the products that I use and talk to you a little bit about things that I do that I think um, help make my skin look healthy uh, and free from blemishes. When it comes to cleansing my skin, um, I have never been somebody who used soap on my skin. So I just clean my skin with plain water unless I'm wearing makeup. And when I am wearing makeup, I use coconut oil to remove that makeup. For any of you that have never tried this before or if you're skeptical, um, if you have any coconut oil in your house, like the stuff that you use for cooking or whatever, just use that to take your mascara off the next time and you will be completely shocked as to how well it actually works. So on a daily basis, I use plain water to wash my face and I use coconut oil to take my makeup off. But I would say about once a month, I will use my husband's face wash or that old like St. Ives apricot scrub. I've been told that that is like not good for your skin to exfoliate your skin like that and whatever, but I have been doing that again since I was in high school. When it comes to moisturizer, for years and years and years and years, I either use the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Cream that you put on like your body. I would use that on my face. Don't ask me why. I just found it felt really good. And I don't have super sensitive skin, but I find if I use anything that has any kind of like vitamin E or anything like that in it or too much of it, it really stings my face. Like any expensive skin creams that I have ever used or anything that has any type of perfume in it always makes my face red and feel like sore, I guess for lack of better words. And so the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Cream was the only thing that I could use and I found it awesome even though it's not for your face. And then for the last couple of years I have been always repurchasing this. This is Nivea Soft <laughs> and it says that it's for your face, body, and hands. So like this is cheap. Do I think it's the best cream out there? Probably not, but you asked me what I use and this is what I use. The only other thing that I think that I do for my skin that probably helps a little bit is that because I don't wear makeup all the time, so I have like a fresh face a lot of the time, I do allow my skin to breathe. My pores are not constantly being covered with something like a thick foundation or something like that. And I feel like that's good for your skin. And again, I'm not a dermatologist. I don't have any kind of scientific evidence to back up any of the things I do. These are just the things that I, over time, like the habits that I developed, and I feel like I get a good result from my routine. Guys, I never need my skin to look flawless. It probably looks pretty good on camera right now. I do have a lighting kit in front of me and that really helps. Um, and I really do like the makeup routine that I have been doing. I find it makes my skin look very fresh and healthy. That being said, um, I do have imperfections. I do have some age spots. I have a ton of freckles, which I don't consider an imperfection. I actually really like freckles. I have crow's feet. I've got it all. I'm gonna be 38 years old. Not that that is old, um, I'm not saying that, but as far as YouTubers go, like, I'm ancient. Um, but anyways, I hope you liked this. I hope it was at least entertaining. If you have any questions or comments or anything that you really like to use on a daily basis, please leave all of that in the comments section below. I read every single comment. I don't get to reply to all of them, but I do read every single one. I like the good ones. And I even like some of the bad ones. You can give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. A big old thumbs down if you didn't like it. Hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you very soon in my next video.